you go ahead and pray Sali bara hasada balakata frende gede beleka tush Shkada prada gada balakata frende gede beleka tush Prada skada bahara katush Embra katush Prada gede baladabash Hallelujah Praise the Lord Hallelujah Please pair yourselves into two if you can And for the next few minutes I just want you to hold your hands of that neighbor And begin to pray in the spirit Go ahead and pray. Let your attention be on Jesus and your destiny. No distractions. Pray house of David. Indelena sana makata brada gada balaka tush. Shebrende gasa brada gada balaka da brandi gede balada. Lega da brande soto para katu shabradi gada balaka taka dia taka tush. Shekete kata baka tapa. Shekete kete balaka tapa sada balaka tush. Mande kata brade sekete leka tapria da balada baka tush. Embra bakatu sodo brahete kete balaka tapra daga daba la daba manda paka prada kata prada kata prada kata kata balaka tu endele kete pras kada baraka tapa rika tu shabre daga de raka tapa randa kata prada kesha lega tapa randa pray pray salaka tapa randa daga de laka ta shakete preke tu la sada prada kata. Embrace soto para do seketo shabaruta mande kala kato shagreto sada balakata ende kreto sadi brada kata jele kato zabriada balakata brakato shadi akata shana mashada balakata bris ete kete 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 rakato para bato soto brada kata. Shara kato sabre dega dega deba leke tosh Manta para to soto pre dega teba rakata liya kata Shima kato skara to skeba shiba hasi atakan Imbre kete 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 pra kato zike teba la kato shikeri adaba kata Shema kato soba on shabara to Shike te ke te ke te ke te Raka ta ba raka to pre te ke te po koto shoto pre ke te Inte zona ka ta priya sadamash Mande ka to sabra di ka paru to sho pre ke te ke te Shike te ke te ke te pa ka raka ta ba raya ka ta ba roto sodo pre ke te Outside make sure you are praying at the Sunday school, make sure you are praying. Online, make sure you are praying. Let a pakoroto sobra kato shada brigade. Zama koto shona makara kato sabrigade balada bas. Leka te brande sana balada bas ya da bala. Raka ta brade kete kele makoroto sodo brigade ya bala. Ente poro soto brage shene kada bas. Sana kato sabra shka barato si ala baras. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I insist that I must have an encounter tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. I insist. I insist. I must have an encounter tonight. Hala bato sabara kato shada, and the sana malakato pratekete bahasa dadash. Lord, that anointing for my ministry, that unction for my destiny, sana kato shabriatash. Something must fall upon me tonight that will cause my generation to hear your voice through my lips. Prada to sabre nekelebane. Habarusa de Calabo We release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Shakina is here. I release 
the sound of the heavens the sound of creation Shekinah is here I'm prophesying to the atmosphere I release the sound of the heavens the sound of creation Shekinah is here I cry holy 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 unto Yeshua Shekinah is here I sing holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua. Kind I see. I release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation. Kind I see. Yahweh, Yahweh, hey, hey, hey. Yahweh, Yahweh, hey, hey. very simple song. to him. seeing a dove this is what i'm seeing in the spirit i'm seeing a dove and i'm seeing it resting on people i see the number 34 34 that dove is a representation of a dimension of the holy spirit i stretch my hands right now 34 that anointing is finding you now 34 people inside this place and outside right now please help them i stretch my hands right now the spirit of the living god you don't have to bring them out just just even if you have to bring them out don't bring them out the minister stand here you can just keep them somewhere i stretch my hands right now that anointing is coming on someone right now coming on someone's life coming on someone's life you will never be the same you will never be the same you will never be the same hallelujah i'm seeing something that i saw yesterday at our miracle service i'm seeing coals of fire we're going to sit down shortly but i'm seeing coals of fire and i'm seeing it being dropped on the hands of people and as i'm saying it right now physically you are going to feel that fire on your hand right now it's happening to people not everybody but i'm stretching my hands that fire the spirit of revival is in this place 
Halande gadu saliha prahasi gada baruki. Jeleke proske de baronda ziadama. Shalatu sabra gadeshi anaha parasu. Yahweh, Yahweh. Hallelujah. The spirit of prophecy. We're going to sit down shortly. Just let me do what I'm doing. The spirit of prophecy. In fact, I'm even seeing people outside, not even those in the auditorium. I'm seeing the spirit of prophecy. And literally, right now, people within here and outside, people are going to begin to laugh in the spirit and they will begin to prophesy. Right now, I release that grace. Please, sir. I release that grace. Just a symbol. Let me hear you. Right now, I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Please help them. Just bring them to the front and keep them. Whether you are an usher or not, please help them so they don't destroy anything. Right now, I stretch my hands. The spirit of prophecy. Bring them out somewhere here. In the name of Jesus. Mata Shola Kaprahasigata. You call it a total experience. That grace, that grace, that grace. In the name of Jesus. Habarando Zakreto Shadaka Rutsati Ahasabari Katosh. Kratos Salabrande Gedebala Katosh. I release. The sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Shekinah is here. I release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Shekinah is here. Feel me, God. Feel me. Someone pray. This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. This is the place of surrender. Do to me what you want. This is the place. Where my life is changed. Do to me what you want. Wherefore God has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name, that at the name of Jesus every knee must bow of things in heaven of things in the earth, of things under the earth, and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. Someone pray, Lord enough is enough, in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Father, every spirit that stands as an embargo, limiting me, limiting my family, limiting my children, by the blood of the eternal covenant, I command you must give way now. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit, every embargo over my life, over my destiny, by the blood of the eternal covenant, the Lord rebuke you. Please pray, please pray. Every 
Sabranta kata para teskate, e prakata para katos koko pretekete. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you are still standing. Acts chapter 12. Acts chapter 12, please. Media help us very quickly from verse 1. Acts chapter 12. It says, Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. Next verse. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. Verse 3. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. These were the days of the unliving bread. Verse 4. The Bible says, watch this. I want you to see a graphic picture of limitation. This was a man who was heralding the gospel and the devil put him in prison and not only in prison. The Bible says they delivered four quaternions of soldiers to protect him and then they bound him hand and foot again limitation verse 5 it says Peter was kept in prison but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him verse 6 and when Herod would have brought him forth he said the same night like this night now he was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers of the door that kept the prison behold the angel of the lord came upon him and a light shined in the prison watch this he smote the peter by his side and raised him up saying arise up quickly this is where i'm going to now and his chains fell off from his hands are you ready to pray that every chain that has held my destiny every chain that has held my family in the name of jesus because light has come from heaven I command be broken now somebody pray outside pray online pray chains of limitation chains of delay chains chains be broken be broken in the name of Jesus tie me down in one place be broken tie your ministry down tie your family down now look up hallelujah praise the Lord you have prayed let me pray for you now we have to pray those chains they must be broken now i know that we don't have enough space but we'll still work with what we have now i want to pray there are this embargo of limitation must tear down in the name of jesus at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus as you shout that name hear me anybody here who is a victim of this cause an embargo of limitation that fire from heaven must land upon your life are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Shake the brakataba. I cause those chains. Bring them out now. In the name of Jesus. Chains. Limitations. Limiting spirits. Spirits of ancestry. Foundational spirits. Tying down the destinies of people. Release them now. Release them now! Release them now! Bring them out! Inside and outside. I'm praying for you now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening my eyes. And I'm seeing the right hand. Just the right hand of many people with chains on it. This is what I'm saying. Father, I decree and declare. 
everyone here who should have gone further than he has gone and yet bring them out i command that chain be broken now 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 bring them out now hear me i'm going to pray for you you are going to represent your families right now because if you are free and your loved ones are not free you are still in bondage he said as for me and my house are you ready to pray ah. please bring them out i'm just seeing fire falling on people and the lord is bringing is, is a total deliverance right now i pray every family here that is under the cause of ancestry spirits of foundation covenant at the count of three may that fire rest upon you now one two three be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now Tying down lives, tying down destinies, tying down families. I'm seeing something leaving this lady. My dear, look at me. Tap her. No, this other one. That's right. I'm seeing an angel pouring something. Something is leaving her. Let it go now. I command it to leave you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Parashageta skote baladasha. Every altar speaking over every family here. Altars, whether in the village, Parakatabatia, altars connected to the six geopolitical regions in Nigeria. Hear me. I speak as one sent from God. Every altar that will not let you go, I command that it catches fire now. Hallelujah. Who is Godia? We don't have the time, but let's see what God can help us do. I'm hearing a name, Godia. Who is that? You are a woman, not just a young lady. Godia, who is that? Please, if, if, I, if, if the prophetic word is not for you, please don't embarrass yourself. You can just sit down there. Godia, we want to pray. Shabakatoskatibala. Brande kabarantos kati brake de leka tosiata, praka baka toske le brende kebiya. Listen, there is someone here. Your problem started from the dream, the realm of the dream. You lay down and you saw yourself taken to an old house. It's a house you had left a long time. Paka toskiya, you had left a long time ago, and from that day when you woke up, it was failure after failure. I'm praying for you now. The power of God is coming on. I don't know who that person is. Bring them out right now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I decree and declare right from the realm of the Spirit where your problems came from. Be delivered now. 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 Sing that song for me. is visiting your family in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands everything that has to do with witchcraft i break it right now i break it right now 
I break it right now. I release you from this embargo. You will not die. The dreams you are having and seeing dead people, I cancel that dream now. Hallelujah. Hold on, please. I'm seeing a coffin. This is what I'm seeing. This is the spirit of the dead. I want to cause that spirit right now. I'm seeing coffin. This is what I'm seeing. Oh, death, where is your sting? It says. And no grave, where is your victory? There are families here and individuals. The devil is trying to program death, whether by accident, by terrorism. Right now, I want to pray. The power of God will come upon them, bring them out. Father, at the count of three, as you shout that name, Jesus, every covenant with death looking for you or your loved ones, it must go. Are you ready, inside or outside? Father, visit your people and let there be a separation between them and this spirit. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Spirit of death, let them go. Spirit of death, let them go. I curse you by the God of heaven. Release their families now. Let me pray for all those who are out here. Every devil of darkness, we stand as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and we declare that your time and your reign is up. By the blood of the eternal covenant, release God's people now at the count of three. One, two, three. Go, go. Out of their lives right now. Release their lives and their destinies. Never to return. Return everything you stole from them and everything you stole from their families. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The final prayer and we'll go to healing. These are the three things I'll focus on this night. The Lord is showing me, I'm seeing like a gate that leads, you know how estates are. A gate that leads to an estate. And I'm seeing that gate locked. We're dealing with limitations. The Lord wants me to open that gate now. Listen. I know what the Lord is showing me. There are many of you. The, the passage for you to have a triumphant entry is not there. Because that gate is closed. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Hear me. Some of you will be surprised at this prayer. The kind of gates and doors that will open because for some of you you are so your family members are long supposed to be more than this level right now but there are gates i stand by this rod of the apostolic and prophetic and i decree and declare right now gates be open in the name of jesus help them help them bring them out gates be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Open for individuals. Open for families. Open for businesses. Open for ministries. The prophet Isaiah said, Your gates shall be continually open. He says they will not be shut day or night. So that you will receive the forces of the Gentiles. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. You are this King of glory. You're the Lord strong and mighty. 
Hallelujah. Please bring two ladies outside. We're hurrying up. We have to walk with time. I just saw light. The power of God is coming on two ladies. The Lord is saying he's bringing mighty deliverance. This is not just for them. For their families, they're in overflow. One, the power of God is coming upon them right now. A mighty wind of the Spirit of God bringing deliverance for those families. Now, in the next one minute, I'd like you to pray and say, everywhere I should enter, I declare that I'm entering now. I'm moving forward and making progress. Everyone, open your mouth and declare. Between now and May, I prophesy by the Spirit of God. By that command, I declare an exodus out of Egypt. Out of Egypt. Someone declare, the door is open. I am marching in. The King of Glory, strong and mighty. Hallelujah. Now look up, please. Please look up. We're about to finish with this issue of limitations. But look up. Let me share with you a mystery. When it was time for Jesus to have what we call the triumphant entry, he could not enter Jerusalem on foot. And here was the instruction. He said, go to a place where the streets divide. You will see a cold where no man had ridden upon. He said, lose it. And if they ask you, tell them the master had need of it. That means for your triumphant entry, there are times you can't go alone. There are provisions that need to come. But the devil will ask you, why is this favor coming? Tell them the master had need of it. It's time for me to have a triumphant entry. And the horse that I must mount upon is a right prosperously because of truth. Are you ready to pray? Father, everything I need to make advancement and progress in my life, I receive right now by faith. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything I need. Everything I need. Someone is praying. Go to the place where the reef, where the cities, the roads divide. You will find a code that no one had ridden on. If they ask you, tell them the master had need of it. Hallelujah. For all those in front here, I decree and declare every devil and every spirit that has oppressed you by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be delivered now. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. That wicked spirit must let you go. Must let your family members go. In the name of Jesus Christ, release them now. In the name of Jesus, you lose your hold over them. For the Bible says, he who the son sets free is free indeed. In Jesus name I pray. Amen and amen. Is there a woman here that they call Mama Deborah? I just heard that name in my spirit. Mama Deborah, I'm about to pray for the stick now. Mama Deborah, I don't know whether that's, you have a daughter called Deborah or they call you. Who is that person, please? What's your? Deborah. They call you Mama Deborah. Yes, sir. Where are you from, madam? Enugu State. Enugu State. Yes, I want to pray for you this demonic embargo that has tied you down there i don't know what it is that has to do with the spirit of the dead don't be a, i'm not a prophet of doom i want to pray for you and pray for your children you don't have to kneel father in the name of jesus christ i pray for mama by the power that oh mommy can you imagine mommy you you, you actually came all the way from abuja to zaria here amazing amazing for those of you who followed on, on, um, on Sunday, this was a woman who was giving testimony, wearing white, all white, all the way here. I'm going to pray for you too. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that devil and that spirit, it must let you go right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, 
everything you have to do with the spirit of the dead, let it go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Name. In the next two minutes, I'm going to allow you with the Lord. Every dimension that you need to step into, I will leave you in prayer for the next two minutes. Please, I want you to cry from the depth of your heart. For some of us, it's poverty you need to end once and for all, for God's sake. For some of us, it's weakness and limitation. Politicians, this may be your chance to access superior grace that produces results. Businessmen, here can be your chance to rise. There are young men and young women saying, Apostle, physically speaking, I don't have any advantage. But the God of heaven can help you. pray our global family following online pray in the name of Jesus have been given to the church mandates have been given to the church for the kings to be born the mantles to return for the sons to arise in strength and power hey, honey, honey, oh, honey, oh, honey, oh, honey, oh, honey, honey, oh. from the depth of your heart. Mantles have been given to the church. Graces have been given to the church. Power has been given to the church. Grace is distributed in the church. For the sons to arise, mantles to return. The boroughs to arise, Samuels to rise, for kings to be born, nations to be blessed, for cities to rise, with the victory of kings. Hey. Are you praying now hear me please listen listen please listen listen you've heard people come and stand here and everybody will tell you they listen to this message this grace called favor I told you my story how that Esther anointing and that favor came upon my life for some reason it is one of the hardest graces upon my life that I've seen people receive I don't know why it's easy for people to receive the prophetic receive the healing anointing but I don't know what is it about this mantle for favor 
that has been very difficult and yet I submit to you by God that if you do not access the genuine anointing help them please the grace for favor there are many things you cannot do in your life this world is a cruel and a wicked world I would never be able to do what God is doing across the globe today outside of the favor of God as I will tell you there are many things I do not know I'm a student myself I learn and continue to learn I learned from the Holy Spirit I learned from Scripture I learned from our fathers I learned from people with proven track record but I can tell you one thing that I understand I understand the dynamics of favor believe me when I tell you I know what it takes to compel systems and structures to open for you among the many graces you may desire as I give you one minute again to pray I want you to cry for this grace called favor Lord let it come upon my life by your mercy the smell of my son is like the field that the Lord had blessed one more minute I'm about to speak over your life tonight will be one service that you will not forget in a hurry Hallelujah. 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 There are people what you need to receive is the conviction of every great man that you admire. The first inheritance that you need 
study their mindset their beliefs their convictions number two for some of you you need the leverage of the name a compendium of the credibility the track record the value the contribution and the honor that has been accorded that name for some of you what you need are the strategic relationships and connections that provide you a leverage for your work with God for ministry for business for your career your pursuit for some of you in all honesty what you need is physical support that push could be financial could be in terms of physical estates businesses or whatever it is but for everybody here this one is not some I can tell you this last dimension there is a mantle there are graces behind the exploits that you see in business behind the exploits that you see in ministry behind the exploits that you see in politics and governance behind the exploits that you see in career more than all the physical things whether diabolically or genuinely by the holy spirit any extraordinary physical result has a spiritual component that sponsors it unfortunately many have gone diabolic but with the dignity of kingdom integrity you can stand in partnership with scripture and the holy spirit it takes more than being gifted to excel your gift must be anointed there are many gifted people who remain empty there are many great people whose voices remain silenced because the requisite level of grace is not there i want to speak over your life you don't have to kneel or do whatever just just stand with understanding i came here from the depth of my heart tonight this is part one part two will be on saturday during the broadcast don't miss it call your families and call everybody to connect by faith listen i wish i were not the one doing this if you look at me physically there is nothing in this man physically you would be mistaken i am not that special as a person however that the excellency of power may be on us ordinary men ordinary men helped by a mighty god ordinary men not as intelligent as necessary not as eloquent not even as visionary as necessary but when that mighty god comes to protect you and invest his jealousy upon your life your life becomes nothing short of a sign and a wonder who am i your mind is so full of me mortal man in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead hear me everything that has tied you that came from your physical paternity limitations that came from your biological father biological mother or your physical territory i stand by the honor and the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic i break you from it now help them please i break you from it now i break you from it now I break you from it now. Every spirit that makes easy things difficult. You saw this with your father. You saw this with your mother. You saw this with your siblings. Sincerely, you have not been able to break through. In the name of Jesus. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and I declare in the name of Jesus 
I push you to the next season of destiny. Help that man, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Everything that has covered your glory so that you are covered, nothing about you can be seen. Makatosh Kadia Embrekete Seketa by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I tear that fail right now. Hear me. Where your physical father cost you, I stand by priesthood to bless you. Anyone by your physical descent who said it will not be well with you, I stand by the privilege of the apostolic call. I reverse that statement. 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 Anyone who said it will not be well with you in the name of Jesus by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic I veto that statement and I cancel it please pay attention don't be distracted the spirit that insists that you must remain poor and beggarly in spite of your hard work in spite of educational qualification or you rise up and then you go down some of you see good things but you never lay hold of it in the name of jesus and by the power of the prophetic i decree and declare between now and the next three months step into prepared blessings 90 days if i be a servant of god i stand by this apostolic mantle in the next three months step into prepared blessings jobs you did not apply for houses you did not build i speak this by the god who called me hear me every inherited battle they fought your father to his grave they fought your mother to his grave. Now they will not give you peace. I Help them please. In the name of Jesus. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. Always and by all means. Inherited financial battles. Inherited family battles. Inherited career battles. They come to an end now. Two more prayers and we're done. My God, I wish God could open your eyes to see what is happening in this place. I'm hearing the month of August that there are people between now and August. Hear me. Between now and August, I stand by Bakatos Katia. Help the help her please so she doesn't injure herself. What could not be done throughout 2020, throughout 2021, and even till now, in the name of Jesus, I declare between now and August, step into it. Step into it. Step up Bakatos. Step into it. Let me prophesy recovery. You have lost money. You have lost friends. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You mishandled favorable opportunities and it slipped your hand. Is there hope for a tree even if it be cut short? The Bible says at the scent of water. I want to speak over your life. In the name of Jesus, I have been commanded to bless therefore I decree and declare everything that has left your life and is not by divine orchestration 
I call it back now. Finances be restored. Relationships be restored. Spiritual fire be restored. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now hear me. Every parent here, physical parent now, who is struggling with your child in one area, it looks like the devil wants to wage war over your family. And some of you have been depressed asking, Lord, is this how I'm going to die? No responsible child to rise up. Some of you, even the child, the devil is fighting to make sure you don't even have the child. In the name of Jesus, I'm speaking to our global family first and then to the body of Christ. No one connected to this grace will have a cause to regret over their children. Therefore, by this prophetic word, we release ministering spirits to homes, to schools, everywhere your child is. In the name of Jesus, may they come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. May they be transformed. May they become responsible children. In the name of Jesus Christ, please wave your hands to Jesus. Please wave your hands to Jesus. Please wave your hands to Jesus. Are you ready? I decree and declare right now across this territory within this auditorium that every life and every destiny bring them out that has been tied down by the spirit of delay in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare be free now be free be free now I rebuke the spirit of delay let God's people go now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ let there be deliverance now bring them out I decree and declare now hear me at the count of three you are going to shout the name Jesus there are yokes and there are altars that have tied down the destinies of men so that they cannot rise as you shout that name the fire of God will rest upon you and an end comes to this oppression are you ready now I decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ you must let God's people go now at the count of three shout Jesus one two three shout Jesus go 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 I command every foul spirit be gone now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare be destroyed now I decree and declare release your destinies in the name of Jesus release your destinies in the name of Jesus release your destinies in the name of Jesus hallelujah please look up look up look up don't be distracted the Lord is showing me chains I'm seeing the hands of men that have been bound in chains your hand is a symbol of productivity but it has been bound right now you would shout that name Jesus again at the count of three and those chains will be broken right now are you ready one two three shout Jesus I command chains Every chain tying down any destiny be broken now. 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 Hallelujah. Who is Israel? Israel. I'm hearing the name Israel. 
goodness we don't have all the time who is Israel qui s'appelle Israël you are wearing suit with a box dress tu like a blue un suit un with a shirt bleu. that has box in it is there someone like that est-ce qu'il y a quelqu'un comme ça who is that come your life is about to change ta vie est sur le point de changer What's your name? Israel. Where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. The Lord is changing your life. Take that fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's over forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Monica. 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 I'm hearing the name Monica. Is there someone with such a name? Monica. Monica. Monica, this is what I'm hearing. Monica, but it's a question. I want to pray for but we do not engage with the spirit. You are not praying blandly. There are forces that stop helpers from coming to your life. There are forces just when they're about to sign something that becomes an open door. These forces use men and systems and structures. Lift up your head, O ye gates. It's not just a pronouncement. There is an activity that you must engage in. Prayers was made by the church for Peter. Prayers was made by the church over the areas of your life. There are areas that if you sit down and allow the devil to keep oppressing you, let me tell you this, Satan is a determined person. He would destroy anything you allow him to destroy. When it was time for the nation of Israel to leave, they said, we will allow you go, but keep your wives behind and keep your children. Moses said, I didn't hear you well. Everybody, everybody and everything. I'm not going to live with my health and leave my finances behind everything i'm not going to live with my character and leave my influence behind everything must move forward hear me brothers and sisters by the grace of god and by the privilege of god's mercy i am a testament of what prayer can do no until you get you take your prayer life seriously you will see cheap victories in the spirit You will shift systems and structures and align men and things to line up the purposes of God. Awake, thou that sleepest. This spiritual slumber and laziness is why gates continue to look as though they are strong. This morning for a few minutes, I want us together as a coordinated army to scatter some gates in this place. Hmm gates of delay gates of shame and influence look at me please listen just help those under the anointing listen there are people who are victims of these prisons that Peter was in it is the women that feed the men where you come from no matter how responsible they are they go to America for 10 years and return back like they've never left their village What of those who rise just when they get to the place where they should sit down? They come down in shame. They never come down normally. Don't say it does not matter. No. The one person that becomes the breadwinner. I remember one time something happened to a dear woman, her only son responsible gentleman he finished with first class he was returning back home and he had a ghastly motor accident died in that instance don't tell me that is the will of god i hope you know these gates we talk about they are mobile they are not just in one place they look for wherever you are and come and stand in front of you I want to help you. 
where are you from? You look like you are my relative. Yes, sir. Meet me at the office tomorrow. And those kids come and stand. By the next day, you go to the office. You say, I can't remember. Where did I meet you? And you are wondering, what is going on? Some of you have been in this city for more than one decade. And yet, the gates in the city have refused to open for you. Anything you do fails. You do business, it fails. You have been trying to build. You are still at the foundation level. When you were trying to build, the entire land around you was empty. Till today, you have not lifted it to Lintel level. Help them, please. Just help those under the anointing. Listen, I know this by the Spirit. Please give me volume, Elijah. We are going to pray. This is a conference. We will take out time. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. While you are praying, don't pray for yourself alone. Think of your children, born or unborn. Lord, let me pass through this once and for all so that everybody behind will not have to go through that shame. In one minute, I'd like you to open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit. Please pray. Pray, walk around, pray, be serious. Pray. Shelekete pakata barakatos. Entelentes kabaratos koto pregate katos yata. Shanakate benda kate barakatos. Ekete pekate kato pakato koto pregate kata. Shalemente pakato brondo kosko barikata. Skabarente kepeka tosko topra kade balada ba. Ebrekete kete peka tapeka tosko topra kade balada ba. Skabarente kepeka 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 tosko topra kade balada ba. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray? Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. By the blood of the eternal covenant. By the blood of the eternal covenant. Every gate. Every gate. Standing my way. Standing my way. Standing in front of my path. Standing in front of I my path. I clear you by the blood of the I lamb. You Lift the your voice and, and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Every gate. We clear you. We clear you. We clear you. Shut up. Shut up. Every gate. Gates of oppression. Gates of oppression. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, if you can, pair yourselves into two. You're married, find your wife or find your husband or find anybody close to you. You are going to pray. Every gate standing in front of our home, it doesn't matter how long, by the blood of the co eternal covenant, we command those gates be destroyed. Lift your voice and pray. We decree and declare. In the name of Jesus, every gate, are you praying? Every gate, pray for the person who stands for holy. Every gate, as men, gate as oxen, we scatter you by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, 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 
In the name of Jesus. Amen. 1 Thessalonians 2.18. We are still praying. My God, there's fire in this place. 1 Thessalonians 2.18. 18. Please read with me, everyone. One, two, read. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Your favor is speaking. Since January, I've been looking for you, but there has been a hindrance. Your lifting is speaking. I desire to come to you. Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Every demonic hindrance. Every demonic hindrance. Stopping prophecy. Stopping prophecy. Stopping my blessings. Stopping my blessings. From reaching me. From reaching me. This day, this day, I declare, I declare those powers are destroyed. Those powers Lift your voice and begin to pray. Jesus. I declare every gate, every hindrance. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. We are still praying. Just lift your hands. I'm seeing chains on the feet of like four or five people. I'm stretching my hands now. These chains, these things have to do with ancestry. They have tied some of you so that you will not move forward. Right now, fire, parados, fire. Fire from heaven. Fire. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus, anyone here who is a victim, help them. Makatos ketedea, maretos kida. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Bring them out. We're praying. Shabakata bakata. Every chain, chains of ancestry, witchcraft, orchestrations of darkness, ill speakings of men, be broken. Shalika parakatosia. Thank you, Lord. We are still praying. 
The Lord is telling me to release people here who have been victims of delay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody moves except you. I'm praying now. Please help those people because when I pray, some of you are standing in for your families. Enough is enough. Here at this conference, it's time for gates to be open. I declare at the count of three, Lord, anyone here at World Alive who is a victim of any kind of delay, at the count of three, I want all of you to shout the name Jesus. Are you ready? One, two, three. Jesus. Delay be broken. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Shanakata, gates of delay, gates of delay, gates of delay, be broken, be broken. Shakataya, Leketadnea, Rikapalea. A secret in Hallelujah. Was he praying? Look at me. The Lord wants to destroy patterns. It happened to your father. Now it's happening to you. It happened to your mother. Now it's happening to you. By the blood of the eternal covenant, we have an advantage. Are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every pattern. Every pattern. Following me. Following me. I declare. I declare. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. You are broken now. You are broken. Lift your voice and pray. You are broken. You are broken. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Isaiah 60 verse 11. Isaiah 60. Read with me everybody by faith. Let this be a prophetic word for you. Are you ready? One, two, read. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day, day or day. night that men may bring unto me the forces of the Gentiles. And that their kings may be blessed. Listen, one more time you are going to read it. But personalize it as a prophetic yes, word. Yes, are you ready now? Yes, One to read. Therefore, my gates shall be, shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day or night. That men may bring unto me the forces of the Gentiles. And that their kings may be brought to me. Hallelujah. Pastor, sir, please, if you would allow me, let, I want a few ministers prophetically. Please station them just as a point of contact. If you can stand just at the front of the gates of your church here, just prophetically while we pray. Maybe some of the people holding the mic, just one, just 
prophetically just stand at that place Thank you. we are praying we want to speak over this church that everyone connected to the grace upon this man yes, sir. this must be your season Allah. for these gates to be open amen please position yourself there we are going to pray yes sir are you ready now yes sir now everyone we are going to pray that every gate that has refused to open yes, sir. so that helpers will come into your life. Every gate that has refused to open so that your influence will manifest. We are declaring over your life and over what are life. Are you ready now? Yes. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We decree and declare. We decree and declare. As members of this commission, of this commission. we stand and we declare, and we declare, word alive, word alive. Your gates, your gates are open, are open continually, continually, bringing influence, bringing wealth, bringing wealth, bringing increase. Bring in Lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Father, word alive, your gates are open continually. The gates of word alive are open continually. Bringing men, bringing influence, bringing resources, bringing. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.